if you are running google ads you need to measure how they perform you can do this with conversion tracking in this video i will show you how to track google ads conversion tracking using google tag manager so without further ado let's begin learning to get started unity must be added the google tag manager container to your website if not have any google tag manager container go to tagmanager.google.com enter your business information then select the create you will get these types of container then copy this container code and go to your website theme head section and paste the code on the theme head section then select the shape the tag manager container will be connected to your website now let's move the next step go to ads.google.com then select the goals summary and select create conversion action then select the website and enter here your website url now select add a conversion action manually select category i want to set up this conversion for my lead event and if you want also you can set up for this e-commerce like for purchase event add to cart whatever you want enter here any conversion name for the lead event you should choose the use the same value for each conversion because this value is not changeable and if you are want to set up this conversion for e-commerce you should select the use different values for each conversion then select count on is recommended for lead and if you want to set up this conversion for e-commerce for purchase event then you should select the every now select done select save and continue now go to the google tag manager container to set up the google ads conversion tags before we need to know about our triggers what would be our the triggering option just go to the preview section enter your your website url and select connect this tag assistant is connected to my website now i want to enter my information to this form I got a thank you message after submitting the form. Now I want to go to the tag assistant and you can see here is the event fire. The event name is the CF7 submit. I want to copy this event name. Your event name will be the different. If you are to set up the Google Ads conversion for e-commerce website, your event will be the purchase. Now go to the tag manager select the triggers then select the add new triggers this should be the custom event enter here your the custom event name now let's save this now go to the tags and select add new tags tag configuration then select the google ads google ads conversion tracking and you can see here is a showing a error the google conversion linker tag missing in the container select create then triggering will be the all pages and select save now we need some the parameters the conversion ids conversion level now go to the ads.google.com and copy the conversion id paste it here and then copy the conversion level and no need to conversion value because this is the lead form if you are set up this conversion for e-commerce website you must be saying the value, transaction ID and currency code. 
select the include user provide data from your website then select create a new variable you can see here is the some field here is showing now if i check my the event on data layer section i'm getting the name email and the phone now now i want to send this email and phone now for google ads enhanced conversion now we need create some variables select the new variables I created for a email variable now let's create the phone variable now I would like to select the save this will be the variable name user provide data for lead then select save now go down you will see here is the triggering option choose the current trigger and you know i created this trigger lead form submitted and if i check here is the lead form trigger value now select the save Our Google Ads conversion setup has been done. Now submit this container. Enter here any version name. Select publish. Now go to the ads.google.com and select the done. And if I show you you can see this lit event is showing the tag status is inactive now let's test the our tags by using select the preview mode now tag assistant is connected and here is showing two tag is fired now we can also check by using a google ads ec extension you will get this extension on Chrome Web Store. Select the Get Start and enter here your website URL and select the scan. You can see it's monitoring our the conversion. Now it's waiting for the conversion and events. Now let's make a events. Again, I am going to submit the lead form. If I select the submit, you can see here is the detect a conversion event. Here is our the level, here is our conversion ID. And the user data is found. Now if I select this, you can see it's properly working and email address is observed. That's mean and has to send to Google Ads using the hast and matching data from your site okay now let's make a test using the google tag manager preview i'm closing this preview if i enter my name i'm entering my uh, dummy information for testing purpose if I select the submit and if I go to the tag assistant preview you can see here is a event is fired and also our tag is fired and the Google Ads conversion tracking is succeed. Now if I select this you can see the user information in sending to on Google Ads and the tag assistant is fired here is showing. Ok it's perfect. Now go to the ads.google.com and if I reload this again Congratulations our Google Ads conversion tracking setup is done 
and you can see here is the status is showing no recent conversion that's mean our tag is now activated and that's it to set up the google ads enhanced conversion for lit event thanks for watching this video if you found this video useful show your support by hitting the thumbs up button below and if you are excited to learn more about google tag manager or google analytics consider subscribing to my channel i'm abir and i look forward to see in our next video until then take care have a great day